Today we're going to have a quick look at your camera setup in your surgery. I get a lot of questions about what would be the best way to create your mini photo studio in your clinic. You will see on the diploma and the uh, online lectures uh, where I go through in great detail how to do all the setup with the camera and the different flashes and all the connections. So this is just a brief introduction. We are using a SLR with a 100 millimeter macro and also on top of this, instead of a flash gun, we have the um, trigger unit that corresponds to your triggers on your flashes. Here we've set up a black background to get the best possible uh, neutral black background for your subject. I'm using two big reflectors, what we call soft boxes. These come with a reflector in here and a diffuser so that the flashlight gets diffused nicely out of a big area. Uh, I'm using the Nevair 300, which is a really handy small unit. You could have these mounted on big bars. Uh, and in this surgery, because we've got plenty of space, I prefer having it on tripods. So what we do is to switch this on. You'll see at the back of the flush gun we have different settings. Uh, so in this case we've got it at about 50, which is about the right level. On here you have a number of buttons and importantly you have your trigger. This trigger needs to be turned on and that way it will communicate with the camera. The little dial here will let you change the settings so we can see how intense the flashlight would be. Also you have a test button here so you can see that your gun will actually fire where it should do. And then various other settings. When you turn it on you'll see what we call the model light. Model light is just a nice warm glow really to give you a chance to see how you positioned your subject in the frame and where the shadows will end up. It will do nothing for the actual exposure other than guide you where to place your subject. We've got two of these so we get uniform light from both sides. We want to set these so that they have a similar power on both sides and of course turn it on on both sides. The little dials here let you set different codes for different cameras or you might have different setups where you have more than two soft boxes uh, and then you can decide which ones you want to fire at the same time. So we'll line these up so you have the light coming in from both sides and then when we take the photo you basically fire camera as usual or you can use the test button on top. And that's how simple it is to set up your home studio in your surgery.